Unfortunately, my ankle has been off. It hasn't been sore, but it hasn't been right ever since I did my 60, which was three weekends ago. It's been, yeah, not quite right. I had five or six days off after it. And then after that, I ran a couple of days. And I could feel that my knees and the left ankle were just, they felt weak, just fragile feeling. And so I thought, all right, had the rest of that week off. Did, went and ran the following week, which is this week. And it still wasn't right. I could land on it fine, but it wasn't strong. I know it's not quite right, so I just thought, no, stop until it's right. I wanted to run this weekend. I had all these plans, but you just got to, I think, say no until it's right. This is my experience. If you've had different experiences, then cool. If it works for you, then whatever, but I'm going to share what's happened with me. Yeah, I think it's best to just stop, stop what's causing it. And obviously a big, massive run. 60k run has caused it and to be honest I'm surprised nothing worse has happened like I said it's not so it's just not quite right so yeah I'm having this weekend off I plan to do all sorts but I'm still going to ride because that's not what's causing it landing on it for a long period of time on a big endurance run is what's caused it so yeah I would recommend as well just taking a week off I, I don't think a week or two or even three if you're doing similar to what I'm doing, it's going to be the end of the world. Sure, you could be training while you're resting, but if you've got something like this, then I think it's best to just say no. Nah. Because at the end of the day, on an event, say, like my Ultra that's coming up, what's it going to make a difference by? Is it going to be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even half an hour? Is it the end of the world? You're not going to... I, I'm not going to win my age group. I'm not going to win any prizes for my time, so... I'm okay with it being, who knows, let's say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes longer. I just want to get to the finish line before dinner, before nightfall. That's the goal for me. More about that later. But like I said, just rest up. I'm already thinking about next week and how I'm probably going to be feeling good, ready to go and smash some intervals and knowing that my foot, my ankle is going to be better. And that's a good feeling. I'm not getting down about it at all it is what it is you probably expect something like that to happen after a huge run and like I said I'm surprised it wasn't any worse but yeah ready to go again when I'm feeling good I'll know quite quickly after I have a little run I'll do that on Monday see where it's at see if it's feeling good if it's feeling good then on with the plan if it's not then a few more days off until it comes right I'm doing everything I can to eat the best I can sleep nice and early and that will get the recovery happening last year a similar time when I was training for Ironman a similar thing happened but it wasn't a joint thing from running it was my muscle not being right just wouldn't release it was too tight and couldn't train on it properly and yeah I dealt with it got it fixed got it feeling good and then went back to it but yeah had about a week off as well which was quite strange because there's massive Strava graphs then a week where I did about 5k total and then massive Strava graphs again so a week off didn't make any real difference psychologically and maybe mentally you think ah you know it's you're not going you're not sticking to the plan but like I said it's not the end of the world rest up get feeling good go out and train